Welcome back to Iron Horse Trains. I'm here with Don Burnhands. Uh, just before I turn it over to him to tell us where we're at on the layout, I just want to let everybody know that www.ironhorsetrains.com is up and running now. We have our locomotives available for sale on there, and we also have the latest Atherin and Roundhouse pre-orders available. Some real exciting stuff there, so please go and visit that. And Don, where are we at today? Well, what we're at now is we're starting to build our layers. And as we build our layers, in order to support them and get our support for some of our scenery as we're going to go, we take foam, we cut it into place, and we kind of put it into places where we're going to start building different sections of scenery, like the stone face of a mountain and on a curve of the rail. And then as we go forward, as we go past our lines, we put these blocks in here which can be, be glued in, and then we have a foam cutter that we go through and we actually cut the foam out. I'll show you an example of that in a second. But and we have to support our areas. Now we've come in, and I don't know whether you can see this or not, we have our river section in through here. We've actually put the foam in, backed the foam up, that will be, ba that will be backing our areas for our, for our river. We'll go down, we'll go with a slight grade or whatever it is to make our channels. We also support almost every two feet or within a foot or 18 inches so that we have no wobble, no give in our track, solid. Now this is what we use as a foam cutter. It's a, it's a simple foam cutter, it's a wire cutter, and actually most of them now, the new ones, they come with a safety switch. The only way they operate is to push the switch forward. And this is how we cut our foam. We take it, we place it on here, and you drag it through there very slowly. You can turn it any kind of direction you want, and you just go different directions. And that actually gives you, gives you uh, uh, you can make some rough kind of design that you can fill in. And then as you, as you bring it in, you, you, you let go of it, peel off your section. Now, now don't throw this foam away because you can use it for something else. But this is what you have. You have a transition. You can put it down here. It starts to give you some of your seam. You're building up your slopes and backing. And that's what it is. But these foam cutters, that now the new ones that come out, are pretty safe. And you can order them through Iron Horse Trains. We can get them for you fairly reasonable. But uh, it's a safe way of working with, with, with the tools because when you put it down, it's actually what cold. What we do also is when we're doing our bench work and our cutting, we save all our scrap. Every little piece counts. We use it for blocking, for lifting, for raising up. You want to shim something up, you cut the pieces, shim and glue it in. Never waste. Never waste. You always use something. It's always going to be good for something. So we save those pieces. They make little fillers. We use them for fillers like this. We want to put a filler in here, so we cut it out. This is scrap. You cut your filler out and you stick it back in over your foam. If you can see that, that gives you a base for your next layer of scenery. We do that all the way around the track. We do it in different sections like this, and these fit right back in. It's just a saber saw and a little cutting and a little ingenuity. And that's part of model railroading. It's something that you want to do. You see something you want to build. And you go forward with that. And that's where I'm going to leave you tonight. But come with us tomorrow night and we'll show you more.